Where to go? Oh, I want to go somewhere today. Where will I go? Ah, I have an idea. Well, that's me arrived now on location and my map got me exactly to the right spot. I'm going to head down now towards the beach area, but I'm not going to get much from the beach because the tide is coming in here, but I have some beautiful, uh, powerful waves that are actually coming in as well. And with the light now as well, I'm just in time for sunset. So hopefully I get some nice backlight along these waves, but yeah, perfect uh, location actually to choose. So yeah, let's go and let's see what shots I get today. So my first shot here now is actually a beautiful composition. What you have up here are a set of jagged rocks, they're called the Devil's Horns, and you can just make it out here that I'm getting some lovely light now streaming in across this way. So that's backlit uh, those subjects actually really, really nice. Now it's a bit dark where they are, so I'm having to play around with my exposure just to make sure that I don't get it too dark within there, but I'm shooting for the highlights, which is the brightest part within the image, and I'm waiting then for waves to come in and crash against those. They are a phenomenal subject to photograph. At the moment I'm shooting at, uh, I think it's f7.1, and I'm probably at 150th of a second for my shutter speed, and ISO is at 100. But yeah, these are the first shots anyway here. I think I'm being rewarded with some nice light, and the sun isn't anywhere near setting yet, so hopefully that turns into a beautiful golden glow. But I'll give you a look at these ones anyway here now, and then I'll see, will I stick here or will I continue on down? Like I said, there's no point really going to the beach because the tide is at full tide, so I won't have much place to play around, but let's see anyway how we get on. But this is the first ones, and now I'll come back again when I find my next.
I've kind of gone into sniper mode now because right behind me here you can see these waves that are breaking and the light is catching them nicely. So I'm with my 7200, I'm zoomed into 200 and I'm just waiting for a wave as it comes along and it crests and then as it breaks it's been lit up nicely while the sun is actually still there. Now that's not going to be long more because the sun is about to set on the western horizon so I said I'll grab these shots while I could. Hopefully you know there's a couple anyway that have turned out it's kind of more or less a spray and pray situation because I've got the camera on high speed continuous to be able to try and at least catch a shot of one of those waves breaking through and you get a really really nice texture as well in the wave. I'm up to one five hundredth of a second to really freeze that action. Now I was planning to do a small bit of kind of longer exposure uh, shots when the waves are moving but I might give it a go on one of the far waves there bring it up to maybe one fiftieth of a second you get a bit of an intentional blur then as the wave will crash over so I'll try that anyway next now and I'll check back in to tell you if that actually has worked or not. I had fun there actually trying to play around with the different shutter speeds to be able to capture some movement within the waves that were breaking here below me. I actually don't know if I managed to get any of the shots to come out, how I kind of envisaged them really because I had to constantly adjust my shutter speed based on if the wave was in light or if it was going to be in darkness. But I think anyway I might manage hopefully to get uh, one or two. What I've done now is I've turned my attention back out again now along this headland and with the devil's horns because the sunlight now is just streaming in there as well. It's just about to set. We're getting a nice kind of a red golden glow. There's nothing happening behind you. There's no clouds whatsoever, but there is a bit of cloud on the horizon there. So hopefully that will catch with a bit of afterglow if I'm lucky. But in between that, I know it's going to catch and get me some nice light as well there. If I can play around as well, I'll try and see if I can capture a shot with a bird flying through the scene as well. I'd have to get a relatively fast shutter speed, but that's going to be a challenge because it being so dark here in the foreground and then obviously with the light in the distance and on the Blasket Islands, which are just off the coast here in Dingle. So yeah, I'll give you a look anyway at what I've gotten so far. I'll wait around here now. Hopefully, as I said, this light will catch and I managed to get a couple of nice shots anyway, and I'll check back in before the end of the shoot. Well, hello, future Darren here. I unfortunately never pressed record to record my outro for this episode here in Kumano Beach. I did say it to the camera, but obviously I mustn't have pressed the record button. So I do hope that you've enjoyed coming along and this adventure with me and you enjoy the images you've seen so far. Stay tuned at the very end. I'm going to show you some final images from the shoot. And I also hope that you enjoyed seeing my new guidebook in action. Thank you very much to everybody who has downloaded a copy so far. The response has been amazing. I'm really, really thankful for everybody who has done that. And if you want to pick up your own copy for the Dingle Peninsula or the Copper Coast or the Bearer Peninsula or my latest edition, which is Killarney National Park, you can do so by following the link in the description. So thank you very much for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange vor.